Welcome to part 3, Site Plan, Floor Plans, and Optimal Camera Locations. On the tab called Site Plan, we can load a background image, like a site map or a floor plan, and place a few cameras to find good camera positions, and see camera coverage, and camera zones to choose optimal camera resolutions and lenses. Now we can load a background image. We right-click the toolbar button box, then click Load Background Menu Item to choose a file to load. The program can load background images from BMP, JPEG, PNG, and PDF files. The professional version can also load AutoCAD, DWG, and DXF files in vector format. When the file is chosen, the program asks to scale the background image. For scaling, we need to specify two points of the background image, with a known distance in meters or feet between them. After clicking these two points, the program shows a window where we can enter the distance. For example, 6 meters. Now the background image is scaled and all distances on this plan are the same as in the real world. For your convenience, you can lock the background from accidental modification by opening a pop-up menu using a right mouse click and choosing the lock in place menu command. To scroll the plan, you can press and hold the mouse wheel while moving the mouse. Also, you can use the keyboard by pressing Alt key and arrow keys You can rotate the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out of the site plan. To add a camera in any place of the site plan, please press the right mouse button and choose Add Camera from the pop-up menu. You can move the camera into an initial camera location and see the camera zones. To make it look realistic, we can add obstacles like walls, fences, trees, and cars. To add a wall, please right-click the Wall button in the toolbar and choose the type of wall from the menu. It could be a brick wall, a thick brick wall, curved wall, or painted wall. Then you need to specify the starting point and the ending point of the wall. To change wall height, you can modify H parameter in the toolbar, to change the elevation of the wall above the floor, you can modify L parameter. To make it look even more realistic, we can add windows, doors, transport, and furniture. You can copy and paste objects here using Control C and Control V keyboard shortcuts. You can press Shift key to draw straight walls.
you can type objects width from the keyboard and press enter. To delete, you can press Del. To undo, you can press Control Z. By positioning all these objects and looking at your site plan, you can decide where to locate and how to position your cameras. An important point when talking about cameras and doors is that if you need to identify people who are coming through this door but your area near the door is not red meaning it is not part of the identification zone then you have three ways to fix it make the camera location closer to the door choose a camera with higher resolution Make the field of view narrower. Thank you for watching.